Good evening, everybody. Hello. Haha. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Sorry for not doing a stream in the morning. It has been a crazy day. It has been a crazy day. As I, as you already noticed, I was a bit tired yesterday, and that tiredness did not go away because that's not how it works when you're a parent. Because every day it's seven o'clock or some other times to varying degree. There's gonna be a little annoying git that's like, I'm ready to go now and I don't care what you feel like. We're going. <laughs> Hello, the gecko. Hello, Harry Gilbert. Yeah, so um, so I was dead today in the morning. I was dead, and um, luckily, luckily, uh, we had uh, the grandparents. So that was the plan, right? They pick their pick her up, and then and then Papa can stream a little bit. But as soon as the little one was out of the house, I was like, I'm 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 just going back to bed. I can't. I just literally can't. And I slept like for two more hours. But also oh yeah, but also hmm. That, that's the thing, I also had to cook. It it's it was just like an ever ending nightmare and then in the evening the little one was also tired but she of course it's not a person I, what am i talking about my kids it's um, it's fine it's fine i'm fine <laughs> i'm fine <laughs> and now it's fine um uh but yeah i i was actually already considering maybe uh, just taking a break day um but i do want to do something every day and i'm kind of feeling better now i think it's it was good to uh, kind of Give me some time there. Hello, Senor Baup. Hello. Uh, and smelly fish sticks. Did I say that already? I don't know. Um, but yeah, today is going to be just a little small stream. I, I'm saying just a small stream. I don't want to overdo things. You know, in one and a half hours, I just want to. Uh, I want to end it anyway. Maybe even earlier. We're gonna see how things are progressing. This is what we have right now. We have um, we have our girl, and she is supposed to uh, be animated. We haven't done that yet. Well, and she's animated, as you can see. The outlines are animated, but not the fills. So we are about to animate the fills. And we're gonna take it from there. Do, 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 do. So let's figure out how are things working here even. So this is where we drawing the lines, right? And I'm just doing this VSHS thing. I'm just doing this and somewhere I'm multiplying things. Not here, here. Yeah, see, VS. Yeah, all right, horizontal scale and vertical scale. Gotcha. So let's do that first and then we can try to do wavy hair because the wavy hair is, is all this section here. And that's gonna be an additional difficulty, but let's do the wavy hair first. Now I'm already thinking We are repeating a lot of code here. So I think when we move this into the game, we probably want to somehow automate it. Somehow. But for now, I'm happy copying stuff around. It's fine. It's we'll do whatever. Everything always in the front first. Just a little bit moving things around. Uh, 
Uh, this has become one of my favorite um, soundtracks by by Game Chops. Really good channel doing uh, lo-fi remixes of uh, lo-fi hip-hop remixes of video game stuff. It's fun to, to listen to. Okay, okay. All right, so we got this, and now we need to get bring in the VS. Now this is vertical scale, so we're just gonna do multiply it, blop, multiply blop, multiply blop. Sinogia, hey, what up? Okay, okay. I like how we have like the, our streaming crew. And this, this is really fun. I've been missing this. Okay. Something is not right. I definitely see the stretching. But you, you see how it's not right? Yeah, it's not right. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, there's actually more math to this. Minus 32 times Vs? Why do I, what am I doing this? Oh, 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 okay, 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 get, get it, get it. Uh, because I want to, um, the center to be somewhere else. Okay, good, good, good. Well. Oh man, winning music in Final Fantasy is often such a banger. Thank you for joining the stream. That looks so good! <laughs> I don't even think I need to animate the hair, it's so good. Nice and crisp. It's it's really satisfying. Good evening the hair. And says why a lie, why a lie, why a lie. I hope you're doing well. Well, I'm fine. As, as we say in Germany, den Umständen entsprechend, which means according to the circumstances. <laughs> I'm doing fine according to the circumstances. No, actually, this is going to be an interesting week because. Um, I'm actually super hyped on Wednesday. Uh, we're gonna have um, Endor, the final, the season finale of Endor. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's looking exciting. And also on Tuesday, I think we're gonna get um, the Gwenverse, which I'm. I don't know if you guys, people who um, subscribe to my coffee, uh, uh, which by the way, you can support my work on coffee. Um, so yeah. Um, I got a little bit into comics, uh, and I'm reading uh, Spider Gwen comics, the Ghost Spider. And because, like my my little girl, is really likes uh, the Spider Man and Spider Gwen, apparently also. So I thought, yeah, I, I was I, I kind of like that character from this um, from the Into the Spider Verse movie. So I I'm like, oh, okay, I'm, I'm gonna check out what Spider Gwen is all about. They have a really good comic book store here in Bonn. 
I'm kind of hooked. I, I kind of like I, I re the last four ep ep um, issues that I got um, weren't that great, but like the beginning of this series is really cool. And also, there's like the Spider um, Gwenverse comic, which I kind of liked. <laughs> I kind of like the ridiculous of it because it's like the idea of, of Spider Gwen. If you don't know about it, it's she was supposed to be Spider Man's girlfriend, and she got killed a long time ago in the '60s. And uh, <laughs> and uh, it, Spider Gwen is kind of like a parallel universe where where um, that character uh, like it's kind of like alternate reality where that character turns in like she turns into into spider-man and not not peter parker uh and this really it's already kind of ridiculous but also kind of awesome <laughs> and it, it, visibly she's, she's an interesting character and um but then the spider uh, the gwen verse comic is even more ridiculous because then it's like uh, through some kind of shenanigans, every character, like she plays as every superhero. So <laughs> there's like a Gwen, a Gwen Iron Man, Iron Gwen, I guess, <laughs> and and Gwen Thor, and and you know all of the uh, Captain Gwen, <laughs> Captain Gwen, Gwen America. <laughs> it's 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 really stupid and and really fun, and I like when they name. I, I have mixed feelings about all those, you know, alternate reality kind of multiverse kind of stuff. But when it gets ridiculous, I think that's kind of okay. I, for example, I love this, the spider ham, the little pig. That's how I think it's funny. It's just like, it's just like, turned cranking up to the 11, you know. Gwen Hulk, yeah, there's also Gwen Hulk. Um, and it's funny because the Gwen, the name Gwen, you can do a lot with Gwen. There's lots of really cool puns you can do with her name. So, um... One, one which I, well, I found was hilarious, which is also part of the Gwen, Gwen, um, Spider Gwen comics is uh, she, there's also, you know, the Spider Man has also the Venom, right? The Venom uh, suit where she turns black and evil. And there's also the movie uh, Venom. And uh, so obviously, Spider Gwen also has a Venom, but it's called Gwenom. <laughs> it's so stupid. I love it. Sorry, sorry, these are just my dad jeans running away with me. Gwen. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, enough shilling for Marvel. Uh, yeah, so I wanted to do this next. I wanted to try to do the wavy lines. Um, I have some ideas also to do how to do it. The wavy lines. We can just basically copy the same code, so that's why I'm thinking we can maybe reuse it somehow. That's it? We can just reuse it probably, right? Oh no, we can't. Oh yeah, because we're not using... Yeah, yeah, okay, good. Uh-oh! Uh, uh. This, is, this is one of those things where you can easily make a mistake. Easy make a mistake. -y. Hello, J-Pop049. Is the animation done? It looks good. Last I saw the shading wasn't animated. Yeah, it's still not quite animated, but it, we're almost there. I mean, we're, we're in, a, in the process of animating. It's already a little bit animated, but I also want to have the wavy, li wavy lines animated a little bit. And I also have some ideas of how to play with it a little bit more. So let me just figure this out real quick. Uh, and then if we are done, if that works and we are happy with this, then we can transfer this into the actual game. Ah, uh, see now. So now the hair down there is animated. I kind of like that though. Victor Vector Dance! <laughs> Victor Vector Victor Vector. Um...
What if I do it like this? Uh, right now I'm uh, messing around a little bit. I, maybe I want to have a bit of a gap between the fill and the There's a bit of a offset. Oh, but I can't quite do the... Oh, wait, that's that's not my fault. Oh, interesting. I think it affects a little bit. Yeah, okay. Gonna make sure that it's nine, not 10. Oops, oh, I spilled some tea. Yeah, I think it looks better. Because I find it weird if the entire hair is black, if there's a little bit of a white outline. It, feel, it feels more like... Um, I think shading is more believable, or, or it looks more um, like the hair has more volume, I feel. It's not just like flat color. Good. Good. This is what I want. Hair looks like a like woman's legs. Ha, ha. I, I, what? I, what? Uh... I see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like here, right? It looks like, like a woman is sitting down. I'm glad that the ears came out all right. Uh, I was nervous that the ears would be all messed up. Okay, we still have some time, so let's get her into the game. And then we're gonna get a nice screenshot for tomorrow. Hopefully not another reflection on me. Uh, I think that there could be worse thing that you can see in a in a rush arc test like that. <laughs> I think it could be worse. Um, okay, so okay, I want to save this. Load. Uh, do we have a lot of stuff in here? Maybe we should delete the shape shapes. Um, just clean up a little bit. Yeah, I think the shapes copy. I don't mean not need that anymore. I think we we've proven benef beyond the doubt thing that that uh, all this works. Um, then a load. Oops. Load shapes. Isn't isn't odd how she how how. How, how she, wow, that's, that's not the girl I, I was. I, I had in, in a second there. This is a whole different character here. I wonder what in, inverting the fill 
every other frame would look like probably not very good. It, 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 we could try it. Um, my experience with with messing around with Phil P makes that it, it, it creates like a lot of noise. Um, but I'm down testing it out. Don't worry, I'm not down. Let me go too loud. Um, yeah, so now we need to get this thing going where um, where uh, she's animated and also we, that the things disappear behind her. I'm going to create a new uh, tab just for, <laughs> just for girl stuff. <laughs> Open up the new Pico 8. I'm just gonna copy this all this stuff that we have there um, so far. Uh, okay, so we're gonna include. We're gonna just continue using the include. I think that's okay. Uh, we're not really losing any tokens using that, so why why, why shouldn't we? Um, well, we're using it's just like tiny tokens. So so there is there is technically potential to to get some tokens out of this, you know, if you really are that desperate. So we're gonna. Uh, I wonder if we have split two D here. We do not. It's one of those things that I have basically in each of my programs. It's just such a useful tool. Um, okay, so let's see. Um, we need this. Um, so here, uh, we can just do function draw girl gx gy <laughs> and um and it's gonna be just like vf draw vf data yes. there is if we really needed to save um Tokens. I think there might be a way of drawing the outlines and the fills in one go. I think I think we can combine the data into one, and that would save technically a little bit of stuff. Just saying. Okay, uh, let's, let's just copy both of these over. And then we're gonna do a V fill. And I guess this line two as well. Line two. See how quickly we're eating up those tokens? Um. <laughs> Great man's thinking like sweet light. I wonder, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, um, I I should have enough tokens, yeah. I, I don't think I will be running out of them, but I, I still I, I, like it's it bothers me a little bit that uh, it's a bit so also an inefficient here. So I I do want to mess around a little bit with this. Okay, so what is my problemo? Okay, first of all, there is no sub mode. There is. Just, we're just gonna use line two. We we're done experimenting. We're committing. How are we going to do this? Basically getting everything. Oh, there's one more thing, right? Where did we fix the fill? 
Or in refill, it should be in refill. Okay, it's here. Okay, that's good. No worries, Squidward. Squidlet, thank you for dropping by. Uh, 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 uh. I see this code is basically the same, right? Oh, so is this code basically. Like this whole code is, is the same. And this HS and, and VS uh, thing is also the same. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, maybe some kind of function. Or we do it from outside in. That's also a possibility, right? Oh no, we can't, we can't. Yeah, maybe we should put it in a function. Thank you, Draft Fusion. Welcome, welcome, Draft Fusion. Um, so I'm thinking we're gonna turn this into a global variable. Or we could also um, actually, yeah, yeah, let's do this like this VSHS. Let's just um, turn this into a parameter. Oops. That way we don't have the. Uh, Ugliness of a global variable, but still kind of like the same thing. I'm not sure if you're actually saving tokens using that. It's fine. It's fine. I kind of like that they're, that they're linked together. That's I think that's also something that's valuable. All right. Um. Me want to play Final Fantasy VIII. I should play Final Fantasy VIII. There is a remix on a remake on on, Pico 8, uh, on uh, Switch, but also could have played even on on this little boy, <laughs> on the on the Mio Mini. So, yeah. Uh, hair anim, Char charum. No, it's not a harem anime, it's a hair anime. <laughs> um. Are we actually using V? Oh, yeah, we are using V. Okay. So this is this is the idea. Copy this. Oh wait, we also need an eye. That's okay. Well, if we have the Nah, it's fine. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay, yeah, see, see, we, we are doing something silly here. Can use the C here. Saving those tokens! And let's see. Wait. Line. V. 
be filled. Yeah, okay, we use the C here. Okay, that's good. Right, let's figure this out. So, yeah, and also like this code is also similar, right? It's always the same thing. No, it's signed for these and cosine, but oh, the big difference. Okay, let's keep it around for that. Okay. So do we need the Y's? Why do we? Oh yeah, okay, wow, that's a, wow. I, when I wrote this, I was way more in tune with the, I had way better ideas than I have right now. I'm just like, wow, did I write this? Oh my gosh. Um, I'm thinking that we don't need the times two if we just multiply the amount times two. No, 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 let's do this. Uh, but maybe let's not optimize it. Uh, let's just like first make it, let it run and then we're gonna try to maybe optimize this a little bit. So we're gonna call this hair anim. split this out like this Bloop. see and this makes everything a lot easier oh we're not actually doing it <laughs> uh, there's also, uh, oh yeah, there's a problem here. I just realized. Mm -hmm, there's a problem. Um, because here, this code positions, like uh, it assumes we're drawing the girl in the center, but we're not drawing this girl in the center. So just picked up some glühwein. Hey, nice from the kitchen and heard you screaming. Did I miss something? Nah, it's fine. Um, yeah, man, glühwein, the, the, Christmas markets are starting up again, and ooh, I haven't been doing this in three years now, so that's a big deal. And also now with a kid that is who is who is uh, able to appreciate the fine nuances of a good merry-go-round. <laughs> Things are going looking good. Okay, so let's just draw her. Let's just draw. I just want. I just want to see a girl. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Not that kind of. You know what I mean. <laughs> it's complicated. Uh oh. Uh. Okay. What is what is what is scale doing? Where does scale come from? What is scale? Baby, don't hurt me. Scale is one. Oh, wait. Oh, we actually do something with a scale. Oh, because that's the breathing. Right, 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 the breathing. So let's just put this into the update function. Should we do like a, mm, I don't know exactly where to do the breathing. Do, 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 do. We're gonna put it in here. Like 
this. It can be just one line, we don't need it. Let's copy this and put it also in update game. What? We have scale. When are we? Oh, 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 okay. Maybe, maybe scale is. Maybe we need a scale. In in it as well. H S is not there. Hmm. Yeah, do we have the HS here? Oh, we should supply it from above when we're not doing it. VF draw and V... No. Uh, VF draw and V draw. Oh yeah, but V draw also should have a VS and HS. Okay. Oh, wait, it worked. It kind of works, but also kind of doesn't work. It seems like the hair wavy stuff is not, not doing what it's supposed to do. And the colors are off, but yeah. We kind of we kind of we we're 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 getting there. Get the colors right. Oh, right, 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 right. Let's try that. Oh. Kind of like because she has a kind of like a bit of a greenish tint in the in the on the cover, but I, now it's kind of I don't like it. Oh, okay, but whatever. Let's 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 figure it out later. First, let's figure out the um, the hair. The hair. Why does the hair not look right? It's, 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 it's bro broken in the same way everywhere. Okay, never mind. Let's make sure that we localize the problem. Is it in this statement the problem? Or is it somewhere just like, okay, see, this works nice. The breathing is good. somewhere in here. Maybe it is the times two thing. No. Why? 
Is it, is it, is it a plus three? That could be it. Oh, it's plus three. I know why. Yeah, yeah. Okay, got it, got it, got it. feel his breath. Her breath, I guess. I don't know. She could be a he as well. Oops. Um, okay. Um, yeah. We can do another if statement here. Maybe we could solve this by modifying the underlying values. See, that's what I was looking for. It's fine, it's fine. Yeah, it could be also he. Why not? It's fine, Sinojia. Oh, yes. Ha. Huh. Yeah, I don't, I don't like the green, though. I don't like the green. What are we going to do about the green? Yeah, you guys agree, right? We should, we should probably go to the... Um, oh, not the notepad. I want, to do, I, I want to pick up the air sprite because I had a version of that. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Nochi. Oh, okay, wait. Hmm. Ah. ah. Okay. Um. Do 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 do. Do do do. See, in the original version, we had it slightly set up slightly different, like in the in the air sprite. So this is this is very wrong. Um, but when we draw it, so here we're using some pal statements, and they kind of help. So pal, let's turn the one into a zero. And then let's turn the 13 into a zero. See, that, that looks a lot more consistent. The, the gray was, was kind of ruining the effect. But I have to say, I also did like the, the one that we came up in the breathing uh, the thing. Let's let's try both. Let's keep this around because that was how, how I designed it initially, and then if we figure out that this is not so great, we're gonna fix this. Um, because in, during the game, in, in game, we're probably gonna use her all, um, we're gonna turn her all gray. Uh, hey, Kevin Bronco, we don't. I don't think we have commands set up, do we? Um. Right, right now, something that I'm. Um, painfully aware of is that we don't really uh, we it's like it's, we cannot position her so that's that's another next step that I want to be doing I want to be able to position her on the screen um, right now her position is hard coded to 6464 64, um, but uh, that's something that we want to maybe change um, G X G Y just send things in here so we're gonna do GX GX G 
GUI plus 32. <laughs> GUI. Uh -oh. GUI plus 32. Uh, and then minus 32 here. Yeah. Okay, and then GX. GX. And again, ugh. I don't like that equation one bit. That's too long. Too long. Man, also like listening to all the sound or all the music also makes me want to play uh, Stardew Valley. One day, one day I will maybe even beat it. Who knows? Who knows? Crazier things have happened. Um, yeah, I have a friend who actually completed it, 100%ed it, which is to me quite. What? What? That's possible? Oh, yeah, we don't have GX and GUI here. See, now she's older, older in the corner. Let me, let me. <laughs> I have a Stardew Valley awesome vinyl. Oh man, what a what a baller! So yeah, that's where we want to put her, right? I don't have any vinyl setup, so I probably can do it. But it's I heard it's a popular thing to do. So and, and there's definitely there's, there's definitely lots of uh, their memories about using vinyls from my childhood. So 47.94, Oh yeah. Um. Recently, I also <laughs> there was a we were discussing uh, um, Christmas presents with with my with my um, grandparents, and there's obviously this idea that oh maybe we should send her uh, we gift uh, our granddaughter some music, and it's like <laughs> we don't have a CD player. <laughs> you cannot gift us music. <laughs> we as a society they got us. They took away the ability to own music. Um, well, I, I mean, we could probably play it on like the PlayStation 3 or something, like put in the CD. I guess that's possible, right? It should have an uh, audio player. Uh, PlayStation 4. There was a booth at Gamescom this year where you could buy a lot of game soundtracks on vinyl. Yeah, almost spent too much money there. Gifting a CD player sounds good though. Yeah, that would be could be cool. Um, or like a tape player. Tapes are even more like nice and physical, and you can record on them, right? I was thinking about getting a tape player. Maybe when she's older, because right now she would just like open the tape and. Um. I want to say something. Oh yeah, um, just recently uh, also another game came out with some amazing soundtrack. I might actually try to play it on the stream, it might not get copyrighted. Um, Shatter. 
the game Shatter, soundtrack by Module. Uh, they made a, released like a remixed version of the game on Switch, I got it. And it's, I think, one of the best soundtracks. Not quite as chill, more like electronic dance music, if you know what I'm saying, but oh, oh man, that's one hell of a soundtrack. The game is fine, like it's breakout uh, with some physics, like like modern physics, so that's cool. Um, but the music just knocks it out of the park. Like without the music, the game would be not, not, not that noteworthy, but with the music, it's just like, whoa. And they also have it on vinyl. They, I'm following the musician and he put, um, put up images of the vinyl and that's also like a really nice printing on like transparent vinyl and everything. Ah, oh, hmm. Just amazing stuff. Just amazing stuff. People are doing beautiful things. Okay. Let's put the girl in the game. Okay, so here it is. Here's the game, draw a halo. Oh yeah, see the problem is? Problem is, okay, first of all, here's the S S SPR. I'm gonna put it in here for now. This is wrong, but I know it's wrong, so it's fine. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna figure this out. I, I think. Uh, see, now we have to, we have the girl in the game. A bit too high. We have to put her lower. Uh, oh, I should have should not have deleted this. Let's not. Let's undo the, lead, the, the deletion. Let's keep her around. Yeah, shutter. This is really. It's not, it sounds literally good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's incredible. It's it's one of the hidden gems of, of uh, video game soundtracks. It's like you know, like it, it, it's this electronic dance music, but with like nice g guitar riffs. It's it's kind of amazing. It's kind of like it did the future wave stuff, but with a very very weird twist and and way before that came, became popular. Uh, or synth wave, I guess, right? Yeah, okay. So I want to put her at Halo Y. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There she is, and now if we create, yeah, yeah, okay, but she needs to be way lower, so let's go like plus 30, uh, plus 30. And there she is. A little bit higher, let's go 25. Yeah. Okay, so now the problem with uh, drawing her between the two things is that <laughs> ah man how are we going to do this what's what's the most efficient way of doing this ah the most I guess we have to do it in two passes right Ugh. Yeah, but we have to. Because right now we're doing like all the calculations. You see the, all the calculations here? And then and then we're drawing one pass. We're drawing, we're drawing both the front and the back at the same time. But in order to put the girl in between, we need to draw the back first, then draw the girl on top, and then the front. So we're kind of like doing it in two passes. Let's do it, and then what is the S doing? I think this S is be something we lost. I don't think we need the S. We literally don't need it. Yeah, we don't need it. Okay. Um, draw 
draw halo back. And again, we could put it in a function that, that's, and you know, like just so we don't have to repeat ourselves, but. Um, with the difference that um, in the first pass, the first pass, uh, we don't draw the front, and in the second pass, we don't draw the back. Oh no! It's not per what? what? Why? Oh, 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 I know why. Do I know why? I don't know why, why if I know why. I'm actually a bit confused why. Hmm. I was preparing for awesomeness, but the awesomeness did not happen. I expanded the hair. Oh yeah, you might you have a pointer. You have a pointer. You have a point there. So we might not be able to expand the hair after all. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah. I see I see the, I see the problem. Hair twice, or how? Yeah, we could do the hair twice, right? <laughs> With and without the hair. How much? What is our? What, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's fine. We're halfway there. We have so much time. Uh, so much space, I mean. Okay, um, then let's fix the, the hair. Oh man, that's such a bumski. Yeah, so the hair expansion is happening here. We can just remove the hair expansion and bring it back, back later. Yeah, now, now it's better. There's still sometimes a bit of a gap there right, that I, I quite dislike. Ah, I think that's something we can... F can we fix this? Uh, might be difficult. Yeah, we can, we, we, can we, we definitely can fix this. Okay, that's gonna be fixing some code. Oh man. No, not the. Okay, let's, let's, let's switch to the other full screen. So, okay. So this minus 10 is how high the hair goes, the, the shading of the hair goes. And then this goes to 11, so actually... Oh no, 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 that's not good that it goes to 11. It should go, just go down to 10, so maybe that's the problem. Just, just, that could be just like the, the only problem that we have, that we go to, down to 11 and we should go to 10. You see, this could could be just it. Hmm. No, no, no. I, I think it's different.
whatever, just like, um, so let's change this one to 11. So let's, let's look for, for, for this line. And let's push it up to 11. Ooh, ooh. Ah, ah. Let's try this. Yeah, that's better. Can't you just put a rectal behind her? Oh. Can I put a rectal behind her? You asking questions, man? Okay, first we're gonna draw the girl. No, we, no, we can't, cannot, cannot put the rectal behind her. Something we could do is just stop drawing at a... Oh yeah, but no, I think this is good, this is good, this is okay. Um, we're just gonna have to optimize this code a little bit and then we're fine. Again, we're not about to run out of tokens. This is not gonna be a game where we run out of tokens. Uh, and so it's fine to just like splurge a little bit. Um, I'm assuming. And if we run out of tokens, we know where to save them. <laughs> um, where are we? Where are we? You are here. So now this looks good. This looks nice and tidy. Let me, see, let me see what, because um, I had some screenshots from how it looks previously in terms of vertical spacing. I think she could be a bit higher, right? So the, the way we had, oh no, no, she's actually. She's actually pretty high now. She used to be a bit lower even. But it's okay, she's moving out all the time anyway. Sorry, I've been following your channels for some weeks now. Porklight got me here and I say, that's cool, that's cool. Have you ever considered working on Voxatron or did you do already? I, very brief, like literally minutes. I, I, the, when I looked at it, I didn't like it at the time. No, because it was more restrictive. It was more like a level editor and less like, you know, coding everything by yourself. Um, you had like these very rigid things that you could be doing with it, uh, I felt. Um, I might, uh, yeah, I, I would be down returning to it. Don't worry, yeah, no, 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 no worries there. Why not? Okay, um... Let's turn things to grey. I think that looks better when she's she's grayed out. I think because she I, I don't want to distract from the from the colorfulness of the of the actual game. I think if when we have when she's so high contrast, there's so much noise happening there. I think it looks just a little bit noisy and and overbearing. And I think when she's grayed out like this, it looks better. I am still partial to replicating that. Um, the look of um, the breathing um, prototype we had in the on the start screen, but um, for before we do that, I wanted to make the rest of the start screen. Okay, so let's just like do um, some uh, some um, yeah, I agree, the echo. Um, so let us bring back um, let us clean up here things a little bit. We definitely want to keep up the PRG. Do we need want to keep keep up the a HLP, yeah, definitely H HLP. Um, 
we could also render her into the sprite sheet if you if you wanted to uh, whatever whatever uh, we don't need the prg2 nope we can delete all of this stuff so this is just for the back we're drawing the girl and then for the front HLP. Yep, need it. <laughs> for that we need everything. Even text and everything. Oh. Just repeating it. Hello all! Didn't realize you were on tonight. Nice surprise. Hey, Master Major. Yeah, I've I've been uh, there were there were I had I had life difficulties. <laughs> So uh, my streaming didn't go as I planned, um, but uh, but yeah, we look 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 look. Uh, I think it needs to be a bit lower. Yeah, that looks better. I know one with five kids. I have many life difficulties. <laughs> Wow, five kids, holy crap. I could not imagine. But look, every kid is different, you know? And all of the challenges are... We share the, we share the pain, right? And you know, the parents are also different. Uh, yeah, yeah, this, this looks, this is, this is uh, uh, really good looking game I would say I, I would definitely play that game if I had opportunity but instead I'm making it a game <laughs> um, so do I get this out or this out okay so what I want to get at is this or this so in order to get at this I would probably want to get this out of the way Also, the wavy line at the bottom would be nice. This bad boy. Okay, so let's get this here. Oh, I didn't want to get it. I see now I want to want to have an undo button immediately. Regretting my, my life choices. But see, everything is good after. after oh no, that's not the one I wanted. This is the one I wanted. Can we get this guy out of the way? Yeah, sure we can. And then this can go in here. Ha ha! And now we're stuck. Oh, I can already see too many, too little yellow stuff. Yeah, we cannot complete this anymore. I have four siblings, so I can understand you all younger me than me though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my wife also has... Uh, uh, yeah, also four siblings. Or three siblings? Wait, let me count. Two boys, one girl, three siblings. Uh, but... What? No connection? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, no, this is good, this is good. Um... We might put this in a... Let's do a... Let's turn this into a function. all of this stuff and put it in a function.
and then here we can just call function true false to draw the halo in the, in the front and then we're gonna here we can call 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 false true ah uh, no what Seems like a good idea. Um, something I wanted to do here, I don't like the split happening every frame, so... Let's, let's make it as a local variable. Local all pink. So will more cards appear to allow you to complete a second Halo? I might have missed this discussion. No, um, although that would be kind of also interesting to, to make turn it into more like a of a, a Tetris kind of situation, right? So always more cards fl flying in. That might be a, that might be also fun, like an endless mode. Uh, I might might think about that. Uh, no, but um, currently the idea is that. This is like a solitaire game, so the goal is to get rid of all the cards. And if there's you can complete a third loop, that means that you screwed up somewhere else. Um, you have to actually make sure that the halos that you complete are diverse, um, because if they you keep using the same color, then you will run out of out of that color later on down the line, and that's kind of like one of the challenges in the game. Because otherwise, it's kind of like a very simple solitaire game. It's there's not that many cards, like just half of the cards that you have in normal solitaire games and one less suit, uh, and not that, that many heaps. So overall, the complexity of the game is lower, but there's like this added difficulty of having to um, manage, uh, plan ahead in the way you uh, collect those halos. Yeah, yeah, sounds simple, but the difficult comes in choices you make early on. Yeah, yeah, you you figure out the game quickly, but then you realize, oh, wait, I painted myself in a corner and then you have to replay the game. But that's okay. That, I think that's, that's a, I think it's more fun to ha have some progress and then realize that you have to trace back and try again with a different approach rather than to just like get stuck early on and just like not be able to proceed. And I feel like with a lot of the Solitaire's games that are from the, from the, um, what is, um, Sectronic Solitaire collection were, were like that, where it's like you either get stuck early on and then you don't know what to do anymore, or you make progress, but then you solve the game immediately. There was very few situations where I was stuck in, in the mid or late part of the, of the process. Which also is kind of nice because it's kind of like you've, um, you never have to abandon a lot of work that you do. Like you always um, restart at a point where you haven't actually invested that much effort into, into the puzzle yet. Um, but also makes the puzzle seem more difficult than it is. Because you feel like you're not making any progress at all. So it, it creates this impression that the puzzle is actually unsolvable because it's like, man, I just don't know how to even do anything. You know, I just like, I moved just a couple of cards and I'm stuck already, you know. Uh, and this is a bit different. I, so I'm kind of interested to see how that works. This entire thing is like not the most original of my games I have created. It's just solitaire <laughs> to some extent. But I think it makes it up for the visual design and 
and kind of like some uh, um, kind of superficial things. Oh man, I, I love how she's in here. This is so nice. This adds a lot. I'm kind of blown away. Okay, guys and girls and everybody. When I say guys, I mean, <laughs> I mean folks. Um, I think that's gonna be it for today. Um, this was good. We implemented everything that we wanted. Everything is working as planned. Um, I think let's let's look at the to-do list to see what um, we're gonna do tomorrow. Draw polygons, add girl to the game, halo cover by head. That's all done and good. Yeah, so there's a big juice portion that we're gonna talk about later. Uh, but now I think next steps in the game development is gonna be uh, kind of like uh, doing like a um, horizontal uh, slice. Yeah, horizontal slice. <laughs> Or a vertical slice? <laughs> I mean, I get confused. But basically having like all of the parts of the game kind of filled in. So we have something there and they kind of like functional. So I want to be able to finish a level. I want to be able to, uh, you know, have a level select screen. I want to have a start menu that's actually useful with buttons that I can press there on, on there. I wouldn't just have like everything filled in. So it's roughly working, maybe not perfect, but roughly working. And then uh, I will go back in again and and add in the juice to make it all pretty and polished and everything. I think it's vertical, cutting through all the layers. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. Um, so yeah, yeah, horizontal is, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Um, like one layer really nice, but none of the other layers, right? Um, yeah, so that's gonna be the next step. And then once the juice is in and it looks all nice and, 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 and sweet, then we can think about maybe adding some, uh, some uh, uh, you know, complications to the gameplay to, may, to maybe add more uh, replay value, some staying power. Because right now it's kind of like you can finish the game quickly and that's going to be it. So let's see if we can make it more persistent. Thank you so much for joining me on this sleepy Sunday afternoon stream. Uh, tomorrow I will be streaming in the morning as always and possibly in the evening as well. All right. Have a nice night. I guess it's when you're in Europe like me. <laughs> Have a nice day. Uh, see you next time guys. Bye bye.